hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to one of the past HZ exam question videos. We're going to do in this video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the Blueprint of Life module, more specifically the inheritance chapter of that module. What I'll do in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then when you're ready, press play and I'll go over the actual answer itself. So the actual question is clarify using examples the difference between the term allele and gene. And that's worth three marks. So when you're ready, press pause and I'll go over the actual answer once you've finished. Welcome back. All right, so the actual verb here was clarify, which means we need to tell, so this is clarify using examples. So we need to be able to tell the difference between allele and genes. So we have to exactly point out what the difference is. And we also have to use an example. And if you do that, that gets you three marks. So we'll first we talk about what an allele is and what a gene is. Obviously then, how, then link how they're different. And what we do last is we go through the example. An example in, in this case will be eye color. So eye color. So how there's a gene which codes for eye color and then there's different alleles and these alleles code for blue eyes, brown eyes or brown or black eyes, uh, brown eyes, blue eyes or green eyes. So that will be the example. So we'll go through each of those steps. So first what I wrote was, I'll go through what a gene was. And if this definition or this description sounds a bit confusing, don't worry about it. I'll go through a diagram as well at the end. It's actually always good to, especially for this kind of question, to maybe put in a quick diagram, because that might help you to show the marker that you know what you're talking about. So in this case, I'm going to go through a diagram as well. But first I describe what a gene was. So I say a gene refers to position of a segment of DNA. So it's a segment of DNA. It codes for a particular characteristic on a chromosome. So the particular characteristics that we're going to go for in the example would be eye color. In eye color. So there's a gene which codes for the eye color. And what that gene is, just a segment of DNA. And specific chromosomes will always have that segment of DNA. The position of that segment of DNA is the same on all chromosomes that carry that trait. So where we can find that segment is always the same. The only difference is the actual sequence of bases of the segment. And that sequence of bases being different is actually our allele. And I'll go for that in a second. But yeah, here I just quickly described what a gene was. And that will get you a mark. And I've hinted there's a bit of a difference when it comes to the actual sequence of those bases. And that was the allele itself, but I'll go over that more now. So an allele is a version of the gene. So a, if we say, for example, eye color is what the gene codes for, then that version of the gene is you know, blue color, brown color, or I always want to say yellow color. I don't know why I want to eat. There's no yellow eyes. Um, green eyes. And these were the versions. The gene itself codes for eye color. And the versions code for different types of eye color. So an allele is a version of the gene, with slight different base sequences that give rise to variations of per particular characteristics, for example, hair color and eye color. So now I've just can quickly gone over what a allele was and how that's a bit different to a gene, just because an allele is actually a version of a gene. And now I'm going to go and give the actual example. It's not two marks so far, and then the example will get us our last final mark. If, for example, the gene for eye color were to be found on chromosome 2, again, I made that up. I just said that, you know, we might be able to find that gene for eye color on chromosome 2. Then slight variations of the DNA segments that code for the eye color could give rise to brown eyes, blue eyes, and green eyes. And so if you only had one version of a gene, we would all have the same eye color. But because there are different versions of that same gene, there are people who have brown eyes, blue eyes, and green eyes. And that's what an allele is. And then I actually draw a diagram as well. So here I said, okay, we have these chromosomes, chromosome two, and the, I mentioned earlier, the gene can always be found on the same chromosome that codes for it. So I just say, okay, chromosome two codes for eye color. 
and it can always be found on the same position. So the gene itself can always be found on the same position. The only difference is the actual sequence of those DNA that may, will make that characteristic happen. So this is the DNA sequence. DNA sequence. And you can see, even though the position is always the same, here this is is supposed to be blue, so it's blue color here. Blue. This is meant to be brown. And this is meant to be green. And the only difference between them is again that DNA sequence. So here we have A T C G T A G C adenine and thymine, cytosine and guanine. And when it comes to comparing blue to brown, there is they're very similar in terms of sequence, but the only difference between these and these is that first one, this difference here and here. So here we have AT and here we have CG, whereas the rest would be the same. And same with the third one. So for green eyes, we, you know, it's, when, you come, when you compare brown eyes to green eyes, it's all the same, or when you compare brown eyes to blue eyes, it's all the same, except for here there's an AT and that blue eyes had a CG in place of it. I mean, the idea of it is just that, this might not mean, this is just four base sequences, so four pairs, four base pairs, but obviously normally a gene would have many more than four base pairs. There would be, you know, there would be hundreds, sometimes hundreds of thousands of base pairs, and there might be only one or two different between the different alleles. There might be one or two of them being different. So one or two of the base pairs being different. But that would be enough to give rise to new versions of them. Right? So here I just use four, but that's obviously simplification. Usually there'd be hundreds of thousands of base pairs that code for a certain trait. And there might only be differences of one to two base pairs. And that will actually give rise to a new, a new allele. Um, so yeah, when it comes to net gets you, because you get an example, you get a mark as well. So in this case, you get one mark for quickly mentioning what an allele and a gene was, then one mark for telling the difference, and then one mark for example. That's overall, that's three marks out of three. And where did this question come from? It came from this dot point. Distinguish, distinguish means we have to tell the difference. Distinguish between the terms allele and gene using examples. That's more or less exactly what this means. Clarify using examples, difference between the term allele and gene allele and gene using examples and it says use examples so that's more or less taken directly from your top point i hope that was useful thank you for watching